Ladies and gentlemen, and primary debate audiences, back despite short-term memory loss, is the most bumbling band in the world, the Columbia University Marching Rick Perrys. Cutting the following government agencies to boost the economy. J. Commerce, J. Education, and J. We can't. The third one, we can't. Oops. Along with a new band board coming in, a beloved class of seniors shipping out, and the rest of us unsure about how we'll carry on, the band now presents an all-star gala halftime salute to peaceful transition. He was out of the spotlight this week after Rick Perry's debate partner, but then some pesky journalist tried to ask him about Libya. His first reaction was to deny knowing her, but once the question was clarified, darn that liberal media machine with their tricky current events, Kane decided to follow Perry's example. And by that we mean, well, we have to go back and, uh, well, there's just so much twirling around in our heads right now, but, uh, have you met our wife Gloria? That's right, folks. Kane decided to go for the political Hail Mary and throw his wife into the fray of scandal. According to Gloria, Herman totally respects women, and all his former staffers and employees totally agree. In honor of a tragic figure, the band now forms Kane's Last Stand and plays Sweet Child of Mine. Thank you. 